What is up guys and welcome to FL Studio and in today's video we're gonna look at the track separation feature that comes with the new FL Studio beta version. We're gonna see what it can do. If you don't know how to download the beta version, I'll put a link to the place in the description. It's pretty easy. You just go to the image line, follow, and you download it from there. The beta version can come with bugs and issues that the normal version doesn't have. So keep that in mind when downloading it. Yeah, it should be working fine. And if you have any issues, write to the support and they will probably solve these issues for the final release. So once you've downloaded the beta version of Level Studio, you will see some new features within the doll. And the first thing you might notice is that up here, you have this new icon called Sounds. And this is a new library that Level Studio is gonna release where you can download samples a little bit like Splice. It's a direct competitor to softwares like Splice, which I think is really great. It helps with the workflow. That's why Splice was a bit first place so i think it's really great to have these options coming to apple studio and being integrated into the doll so here you can see some different packs some edm packs and if you click on them you can see the different samples you can download and then you can click on this icon here and then you can either buy them i don't know what the pricing for this will be but at the moment it says that i need to sign in to drag the sample onto my playlist so that is going to be a really cool feature that's going to come with apple studio but the thing I really want to highlight today is the AI track separation. The way you initialize this tool is that when you have a track up here, let me just play a snippet of the track first. But she asked for, she asked for something more. She and this is a track I downloaded from the NCS. Um, it's by Askeda and Nathan Chain. Let's say I wanted to remix this track. What I usually would do is I would go to an online website, probably La La Live, and I will get the AI to separate my track into vocals, drums, etc. Mostly you want to use the vocals, but sometimes you want to use some of the original elements within the track that you can do within FL Studio. If you come up here to the left corner and you right click, you will see you have this extra stems from sample. If you click this, first you will be met with a an icon that tells you that you have to download this. So go ahead and do that. But once you've done that, you will see this little square here where you can choose the different elements you want to extract. So drums, instruments, vocals, and basses. I would like to, in the future, to have some more options here so that the drums and the instruments could be divided up into more elements so that you could extract the kicks and the claps and the high nets and let's say pads from, from leads and etc. But for now, I think it's doing a really great job. But in the future, I would like some more features for this AI. So once you have this here, you can then choose to limit your CPU usage, probably just for you to not melt your computer. And down here, you can say that it should mute the source clip when it's done, or you can choose to do nothing. I will do nothing in this case. And then I'm gonna press extract, and we're just gonna wait a bit. In the meantime, you can just say hi to producer dog. Producer dog, say hi. So now FL Studio is done extracting different elements from the track. And you can see here in the, in the top of every, every sample that what the element is. So here we have the drums, here we have the bass, the instruments, and the vocals. So if I just mute the, all the tracks except the drums, we can just try listening to it. So I heard in the beginning that in this section, you can still you can still sense some of the background elements, but I actually think it's doing quite a good job. I think it's doing a better job than some of the online websites where you can also uh, get these features. Let's just try and listen to the bass. The instruments. And the most critical one, in my opinion, the, the vocals. But she asked for... She asked for something more. She asked for... So you can still hear some muddiness in between the, the singing parts, but I actually think in the parts where a person act is actually singing that the, the track separation is doing a really great job, of course. It can be optimized over time, but I actually think it's a better feature than some of the options you get online. And I really appreciate this being within the doll now. It's going to optimize the workflow for producers, which is just think is a right step forward for FL Studio. So I can't wait to see more of these inbuilt uh, features in FL Studio in the future. I think it's going to be a good resource to invest in. 
So yeah, in the future, I would really love it to have some more elements that you can extract. So it's just, it's not only just these four, but maybe you could have up to 10 different elements in your song that you could extract from the original track. I think that could be really great, but for now, I really think this is a, a really nice tool. They are also gonna have an AI mastering tool in the future, which I'm also looking very much forward to. So yeah, I can't wait to see more of these resources being built in to FL Studio in the future. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please jump down and hit that subscribe button and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. The channel is growing and I'm happy for every subscriber. Leave a like, comment if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.